Mic check one two one two. I'm gonna warn you guys before we start that this doesn't really 100% pertain to football. It does involve a football player, but I kind of go outside the realms of football analysis because we are a football news channel as well, but we're also an analysis channel. We're kind of a jack of all trades here. And last night we did upload a video on what happened to Earl Thomas. You guys seem to have really enjoyed the way we covered that story. And well, I feel like this is a great opportunity for us to stand up for a guy that already has a fairly uh, iffy reputation on the gridiron in Jay Cutler. And there is an opportunity to defend a guy that has a bad name who, in my opinion, is kind of being bullied and is being treated unfairly. So before we get started, guys, make sure you take a moment to subscribe, drop a like and turn on notifications because we are 4000 subscribers away from hitting the 50,000 subscriber mark. In addition to that, I will be going live on Twitch tonight at 9 p.m. Pacific time. A link to my Twitch channel is in the description down below and also in the intro. And I will be doing a reaction to the Madden 21 trailer on my gaming channel, Flight Plays. A link to that's in the description down below. Now, without further ado, let's cue that music. So on the off chance that you don't know who Jay Cutler is, he is a first round pick in the 2006 NFL draft. He was a very, very high upside quarterback coming out of Vanderbilt University, and he was decent in his NFL career. He was fairly average. Think of a poor man's Brett Favre. That's kind of what I like to compare him to. He had a great arm and he had a gunslinger mentality, but the number one knock on him throughout his years in Denver and Chicago was the fact that he seemed unmotivated at times. And I want you to pay attention to that that statement because that's kind of why this entire video is important. That's going to be the theme of this entire video. But regardless, despite having a fairly pedestrian NFL career for Chicago Bears standards, and with all due respect, it was pedestrian compared to what his potential was. He did have some phenomenal seasons in the 2014 NFL season. He threw 28 touchdowns to 18 interceptions at a 66% completion percentage and threw for 3,812 yards. In only his third season in the NFL for the Denver Broncos, he truly showed us his potential. He threw for 4,526 yards, 25 touchdowns, and 18 interceptions. Pretty much the story of his career, and what I'm trying to get to you guys, is he had a ton of potential, and in my opinion, he didn't really live up to the potential. He was an average to above average quarterback, and for the most part, Chicago Bears fans kind of feel lukewarm about him because I personally feel like he could have done so much more, but he could have been significantly worse. But for the most part, comparing him to other NFL careers, comparing him to the average person, he's had a phenomenal career in terms of bringing himself financial stability, bringing himself respect, and to this day, he holds multiple Chicago Bears franchise records for completions, pass attempts, passing yards, and passing touchdowns, alongside a lot of other really cool stats like most career game-winning drives, most wins in Chicago Bears history. There's a whole list of stuff that he's done for the city of Chicago, and he's also fairly liked now that he is retired in Chicago, especially because the Bears currently have Mitchell Trubisky, and it's not like he's that much better. But Jay Cutler would go on to retire after the 2016 NFL season before the Miami Dolphins lured him out of retirement for the 2017 NFL season so he could reunite with his former coach Adam Gase. And I guess this is because he had familiarity with Adam Gase's offense, and then he retired for good. Throughout his entire career, Jay Cutler earned $120 million, which is phenomenal for anyone. That, that's amazing in terms of his career. And here's another tidbit that you probably did know. Jay Cutler is a little bit of a Hollywood star because of his relationship with Kristen Cavallari. Now, if you don't know who Kristen Cavallari is, she's an actress that rose to prominence in a show called Laguna Beach back in 2004. Then she went on to perform in 23 episodes of The Hills, and currently she has plenty of roles starring herself. And this couple, Jay Cutler and Kristen Cavallari, have made a ton of cameos in multiple shows such as The League back in the fourth season, and this duo was seen as a huge power couple. But 
recently a report came out that Kristen Cavallari and Jay Cutler are getting divorced. And the reason why Kristen Cavallari is divorcing Jay Cutler is apparently, and this is ironic, and this goes back to what I said to you guys in the very beginning of this video, because Jay Cutler seem, seemed lazy and unmotivated. Now look, I'm going to give my immediate reaction to this. Jay Cutler is a very difficult guy to defend, and without a doubt, on the field, he could have been more motivated, but when you compare a player like Jay Cutler and his level of talent to players like Tom Brady and Peyton Manning, it's very easy to say that, but you don't start 153 NFL games at the sport's most difficult position, the quarterback position, for over 12 seasons and earn $120 plus million dollars by being lazy and unmotivated. Now, there's many ways to describe Jay Cutler, and I guess as a football fan, yeah, that's the way we typically characterize him, at least on the field, but it's very unfair to say that in terms of a breadwinner and someone that brings money onto the table that you categorize Jay Cutler in such a way. And the reason why I may be coming off as slightly pseudo-chauvinistic is because of this interview clip right here. Well, I could just buy it with my money. Independent. You have your money, but then all of my money is our money. That's how it should be, though. The girl should have her own stash. No girl should ever have to stay in a relationship because a guy is supporting her. I am with you because I love you, not because I need you. That's that's good to hear. Boom. Given what we dealt with last night with Earl Thomas being held at gunpoint and what we're dealing with now with the complete hypocrisy of Kristen Cavallari saying that she expects Jay Cutler to share his bank account whereas she gets to stash her own money, there's another element to this story that just makes it very, very ironic and almost baffling. And it's the fact that Kristen Cavallari demanded in the divorce that Jay Cutler gives her five million dollars so she could buy a mansion now this is probably the part that completely baffles me the most because you're calling him lazy and unmotivated you are an actress yourself yet you are demanding five million dollars from lazy and unmotivated husband who by the way after a very long career in the NFL where you are traveling consistently, I could understand wanting to stay at home and spend time with your kids. As a matter of fact, this was a decision that Kristen Cavallari originally seemed to be on board with and okay with, but that's besides the point because according to this report, Kristen Cavallari wanted $5 million so she could buy a mansion. And guess how Jay Cutler responded? Jay responded by freezing all of his bank accounts so she couldn't access the money and then told her to get a job. Now understand that Jay Cutler has rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. Understand that a lot of people aren't the biggest fans of Jay Cutler, but after seeing the way he handled this situation, he is my hero because there is no room for that in today's society. In a world where women are demanding our respect and to be treated as our equals, you can't have a woman coming out of here out of nowhere feeding you this toxic narrative of you being lazy and unmotivated. And believe me, I bet you Jay Cutler has absolutely had it with being called lazy and unmotivated and then demanding that you pay for her mansion after she decides to leave you which is very ironic because in that interview Kristen Cavallari actually says that I'm not with you for your money I can take care of myself I am with you for you so I see tremendous amounts of hypocrisy in this entire situation and I couldn't help but give my opinion on this now Look, you need to understand on this channel, we are not categorizing and generalizing all women in one category, but we are going to judge Kristen Cavallari for this demand. At least I am. But if you do want to play devil's advocate to what I'm saying, I am open to all interpretations of this argument because Kristen Cavallari also went to her good friends at People Magazine to clarify her statements because according to what she's saying, apparently she's not divorcing Jay Cutler for being lazy and unmotivated and apparently the backlash probably got to her and she had to switch up her story. Either way, I am very, very sad to see a couple that has three children split up. I really hope they figure it out because I did think that they were really good together and Jay Cutler does seem to just be an individual that has paid his dues in football and after taking hits for 12 seasons, wanting to sit back and spend time with your family 
couldn't be the worst thing. At the same time, you have to understand that this quarantine's driving all of us a little bit crazy, so it's important to give people rope whenever they get angry or whenever, you know, you want to tear each other's heads off. So that could also be a situation here. But let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, this was a little bit more opinionated in my opinion. This is a little bit more opinionated content than I would like to. Aside from that, I'm your boy Microphone, and I'll catch you guys in our live stream tonight. And if not, I'll catch you guys in our next upload.